Hello Internet, it's a miserable cold and wet winter's day. I think it's the kind of day to just pull out some fabrics and have a play. These fabrics look like a great place to start. I've been thinking about the no waste flying geese technique and wondering what would happen if you started with half square triangles instead of squares. I think I'll leave the the big square just as a square to simplify things. I'm going to cut a seven and a half inch square for that one. Then I want my smaller squares to end up as four inch half square triangles so I'm going to cut two five inch squares from each fabric. I know in theory I could have started with slightly smaller squares but you always have to end up trimming half square triangles anyway because Pythagoras. So I'd rather give myself a little bit more wiggle room in the trimming that way I can make sure that the squares I end up with will actually be square. Obviously I'm going to want to lay the seams at right angles to where I'm going to be cutting. Now if I'm right in how I think this is going to work the colour I put to the centre should end up at the top of the flying geese. Only one way to find out. Hey, this is looking promising so far. I'm going to again put that same colour towards the centre. Hopefully that will mean the arms will be symmetrical. And there we go. Flying geese with half square triangles. I'm sure there's a technical term for what this block is, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, there's so many different layout options you could use with this. I think though, I'm going to add a center square and make it into a star shape. Yeah, that looks good. As I was putting that one together, I realized that just swapping out the color of the corner squares gives a completely different effect. So I decided to try that as well with some different fabrics. Okay, when I started playing, these were just going to be sample blocks, but I like them so much, I've decided to turn them into cushions. So I've added borders to get them to a useful size, and now I just need to quilt them. The purple one reminds me of a flower, so I'm going to be pretty literal with the quilting and add petals and leaves. And maybe some roses in the border. the orange one I'm going to go really geometric in the star itself. Then pebbles in the background to match the spots in the fabric. They've come out pretty good. Here's the back so you can have a better look at the quilting. So here's the two cushions, all finished. I've decided the orange one is going to go on my bed and the purple one is going to be for my office at work. Except at time of filming we're still in lockdown so I don't know when I'm actually going to get into work but eventually I've got a nice chair in my office so this can sit on that chair. I'm really pleased with how they turned out and as a nice bonus I discovered a fun new trick to do with flying geese and half square triangles. I hope you've enjoyed the video and maybe you learned something new too. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Ka kite no internet! <laughs>